Hawks in first possession. Straight ahead, Renee Shepard, three-pointer, good. And Bison come out and hit their first tray. Just underway. L. Collins back the other way for the Bearcats. Bethany man-to-man. -man. Out front, Sedlock. See if the Bearcats can get the ball inside tonight. They lived outside against Thomas Moore. Manzer tries a three from straight on, misses it. Rebound near wing. Tracked down by Dradzinski for Bethany. 3-0 Bison. And Wilson across the timeline at the key. Dribbles to the right, throws in the corner. To Tarmina, back to Wilson. Penetrates side lane out front. Dradzinski, she dribbles and feeds out front left to Shepard. A lot of dribble and dish. Wilson off a screen from Hackathorn at the key. Works her dribble. Shot clock at 10. Left corner to Shepard. Shepard penetrates to the lane. Throws up a right-hander off the glass that's missed. Rebound tipped out. Sedlock has it. The Bearcats have the break. Three on two. Brittany, foul line. Right side, Collins. Inside around a defender. Shot good. 3-2 Bison. 18-54 of the first half. Bearcats 2-2-1 two, two, pressure. Bethany goes over top. Wilson in the front court. Cross courts it to Tarmina. Cutting in the lane. Has it stripped away by Sedlock. McGrath ends up with the ball. Bearcats with a chance to lead it. L. Collins now. Stops. Feeds Sedlock inside. Shut up. No good. Brittany hustles to get a rebound. Dribbles it out. Feeds inside to Fenton. Cutting. She'll score and the Bearcats lead it. Nice look by Sedlock. 4-3 St. Vincent. The Bearcats seniors combining. On a go-ahead field goal, 18-27 in the first half, 2-2-1 two, two, pressure again. Bearcats really caused Bethany problems with this at Bethany. Tarmina, right side, Rajinski, stops on the wing, back out front, Tarmina's side of the key, right three is no good, gets her own rebound, foul line inside on the drive, stripped away by McGrath, Bearcats still didn't have it. Devin, left wing to Manzer. Manzer, cross-court pass, caught by Fenton to the baseline, and feeds Sedlock, foul line, open, 13-footer, good. 6-2, 6-3, excuse me, St. Vincent. Bearcats, of course, six straight. 17-53 of the first half. St. Vincent continues to press. Wilson to Shepard. Front court feed, right wing, Tarmina. Tarmina, right foul line, penetrates side of the lane. Double team now, in trouble. And we got a travel call on Kayla Tarmina. Good defense by the Bearcats. Fenton and Manzer on the ball. Turnover, Bethany. Basketball, Bearcats. That's three straight turnovers for the Bison. St. Vincent, Melissa Manzer handling it. As the, the Bison were denying L. Collins the entry, Manzer, right foul and extended to Sedlock. Sedlock guarded by Shepard. Between the dots to Collins against the Bison man. Right foul and extended Fenton off a screen from Sedlock. Feeds back to Brittany. Right foul and extended jump shot good. Sedlock has hit two straight, and the Bearcats have an 8-3 lead. Assist from Emily Fenton. Bison basketball. Front court pass tipped by a Bearcat out of bounds at the scorer's table. Bethany still <coughs> hasn't solved easily this 2-2-1 pressure. St. Vincent jumped to a 13-0 lead down at Bethany off the press. And never trailed, winning 70-45. to Drajinski against Fenton as the Bearcats fall back into their half-court man. Hackathorn changed her pivot feet. Another turnover, four straight on the Bison. St. Vincent plus six in turnover margin this year and lead the conference in more than 13 steals per game. Full court pressure from the Bison, again denying the Bearcat guards the entry, but Fenton gets it. She'll work it ahead against Ann Wilson. Emily to the timeline. Right hash mark to Melissa Manzer. Tarmina playing back. Manzer out front to Collins. Collins to McGrath, back to the bucket in the lane. Left foul and extended Fenton. Three-pointer is no good. Long rebound on the bounce brought down by Renee Shepard for Bethany. The other end. Tarmina left baseline. Checked there by Manzer. Feeds out front to Wilson. Wilson drives right side of the lane to the hole. Shot no good. A foul is going to be called or reach in on the Bearcats. Devin McGrath, her first. And the St. Vincent's initial foul of the game. 16-27 to play in the half. And Wilson goes to the line. 54.3% for... Oh. 5-4 senior. She uh, shoots 81.3% from the line. Second best in the conference and makes the foul shot. That breaks an 8-0 St. Vincent run. Bearcats in front. 8-4. Wilson makes them both. Bearcats by three. Inbounds pass to L. Collins. Audra Dijinsky knocks it out of bounds. Brittany Sedlock will toss it in again. Unable to run the baseline this time. 
Gets it in ahead to Devin McGrath. She'll bring it across midcourt. McGrath stops the dribble, feeds outside to Fenton. Fenton guarded tightly by Wilson, comes right off a screen, penetrates to the hole, shot up is no good, rebound. Tavermina for Bethany, back come the Bison. From Tavermina, right wing Shepard, pull up jump shot on the wing, good from 15. Renee Shepard has five, and it's St. Vincent eight, Bethany seven, Bison on a 4-0 run. Bearcats, Manzer, foul and extended left. Comes to the key, stops, backs out, won't shoot it. Left wing McGrath hits McGanzer, McGanzer, <laughs> Manzer cutting inside. Melissa can't make the shot. Rebound Hackathorne for Bethany. Bison can get the lead back. They led early 3-0. And Wilson with 15.40 to play in the half. Wills back out front to Rajinsky at the key to Shepard. Shepard, bounce pass inside Hackathorne. McGrath around the side to poke it away, come up with a steal. Devon takes it all the way to the side of the lane, feeds Sedlock in the lane, turns, splits two defenders, knocked to the floor hard as she's fouled by Kayla Hackathorne. His shot was no good. Two foul shots coming for Brittany Sedlock with 15.27 to play in the half. She'll be our guest at halftime. First foul on the Bison. Wilson, the second leading foul shooter in the conference, and Sedlock is... Also among the leaders, in fact, she leads the conference at 81.5%. Brittany makes the foul shot. She has uh, five points. She had a career high, 26 on Wednesday in the loss of Thomas Moore, including five three-pointers. Second shot for Sedlock Good. 10-7, St. Vincent. Bethany at the other end and Wilson. Against Jess Welsh, who's checked in for L. Collins. Left wing, pass inside, tipped away. Welsh with a steal. The deflection from Deva McGrath. She's had a couple of those already. Leads the conference in steals. McGrath stops. Left wing to Manzer. Foul and extended at the arc. Manzer pulls it out center circle. Bison man to man off to McGrath's side of the key left. Right perimeter to Welsh. Welsh goes left, stops top of the key. Feeds McGrath. High. Drives down inside on Hackathorn. Missed the shot. Rebound Bison. Drojinski ahead. Tarmina right wing back to Drojinski. Side of the key right. Left side of the key. Shepard tries right to the foul line and stops. Fax under the bucket. Reverse layup by Tarmina is good. First points from Kayla Tarmina. It's St. Vincent 10. Bethany 9. 14.35 to play in the first half. Freshman guard Jess Welsh handling the point in place of fellow freshman L. Collins right now. To McGrath. McGrath at the key. Out front right to Manzer. Bearcats get into their set. Left hash mark to Welsh. Welsh, top of the key, Sedlock. Open, straight on three. No good. Rebound. It's going to be Emily Fenton over the back trying to get it. Her first, St. Vincent's second. Steve Home delivered the Latrobe Bulletin for less than $2.25 a week. Your source for local news, sports, and information. Call 724-537-3351. The Latrobe Bulletin, our community, your newspaper. Skyler Williams in at point guard for Bethany. Ann Wilson goes out. Williams is a sophomore from TJ. Tarmina with the basketball. Follow an extended left. Hackathorn, the big gal, shoots the three and nails it. Six-foot Kayla Hackathorn stepping outside the arc. And Bethany's in front, 12-10. to 10, Second lead for the Bison. First since it was... Uh, Fenton at the key for St. Vincent. Dribble drive. Stops in the lane. Pull up jump shot. Good from 12. Emily ties it at 12. She now has four points. Virginsky right side for the Bison. 13 and a half to play in the half. Williams back to Drajinski in front of the bench. Skip pass left side of the key. Shepard steps into a three. Good. Renee Shepard has two of those. Eight points and it's 15-12 Bison. Fenton ahead, McGrath left side for the Bearcats. Outside the arc, bounce pass at the point to Manzer, right wing to Fenton, guarded by Williams. Dribbles right by her, inside, strong shot, no, but she's fouled with Williams on her back. Skyler Williams had her hips open to the baseline, giving Emily Fenton that lane, and that's where she went. First foul, second team foul, 15-12 Bearcats trailing, First foul shots for senior Emily Fenton. First one good. Her and Brittany Sedlock off to fast starts on senior day. Sedlock with six points. Fenton with five. Emily, 72.9% foul shooter. Ariel Rocco in for Deva McGrath for the Bearcats. Rocco the sophomore out of Northern Cambria. Fenton's second shot good. 
15-14, Bearcats down. Fenton goes out, L. Collins back in. 13.08 to play in the first half. 2-2-1 two, two, press again. Shepard double team stops, lofts at center circle. Drajinski across the timeline, looks to drive. Feeds left wing Hackathorn, out stops Shepard. Shepard goes right, stops foul line. Foul line extended left, Drajinski open off a screen. Shot is no good. A foul is going to be called on Ariel Rocco of St. Vincent trying to fight through the Caitlin Hackathorn screen. Ariel's first foul is the third team foul on the Bearcats, who down trail by one. Skyler Williams inbounds at right corner. Drajinski dribbles left around Collins, stops in the wing, jump shot off the glass, missed. Rebound Manzer for St. Vincent. Looking to re-get the lead of the Bearcats. A retake. Collins, left baseline, Sedlock, 17-footers, an air ball. Ariel Rocco, the rebound, couple of dribbles, back out, foul and extended left to Collins. L with the ball to the key. Stops. Left foul and extended. Sedlock. Brittany. Couple of dribbles. Backs out. Shoots it. Makes it a two. Just inside the arc. Eight for Sedlock. And the Bearcats are in front. 16-15. Mina for Bethany. Right side. Williams drives to the hole. Shot up. Missed. Rebound. Sedlock. Bearcats push. Brittany timeline. Right wing Welsh. Inside on Shepard. Shot up and in. Jess Welsh, first two points, 18-15 St. Vincent. Bethany Long to Shepard against the press, left wing open, won't shoot it, cross courts it, open, Tarmina, jump shot, no good, rebound, Rocco had it, saves it on the baseline, double teamed, out to Welsh. Jessica Long pass, caught by Manzer, Manzer bounce pass, Sedlock, layup is good and she's fouled. Ten points for Sedlock, a 2015 St. Vincent lead, an 8-0 run, and a chance at a three-point play with 11.44 to play in the first half. I don't think Bethany wants to get in a track meet with the Bearcats. 11.44 to play in the first half. Taylor Verico, 5'9", sophomore for Quigley, and Renee Shepard out. Also, Ann Wilson returns. Audra Drajinski is out for the Bison. Sedlock three for three at the line today. Best foul shooter in the conference, or two for two. Now she's three for three. And it's 21-15 as the Bearcats now are on a 9-0 run. Jess Welsh out. Emily Fenton back in for St. Vincent. Coach Petruska and Coach Upton both subbing. Tarmina ahead to Wilson at midcourt around Fenton in front of the scores table. Right to the foul line. In the corner to Williams. Pass out front. Tip by Fenton. Back to Williams at the key. Tarmina hands out. She throws it behind Williams. It goes into the backcourt. Over and back call. Turnover to St. Vincent with 11.29 to play in the first half. A little miscommunication on the part of the Bison right there. Melissa Manzer inbounds to L. Collins. Bearcats from left to right. Sedlock has 11 already. Fenton was six, and we got a foul on the Bison. A collision between Hackathorn and Rocco. But the foul was called on Tarmina. Kayla's first is Bethany's third. Fourth, excuse me, fourth. Bearcats get it in. Rocco with a nice move to the lane. Stops. Pops won't shoot it. Hands to Sedlock. Foul line. Side of the key right. Fenton. Three-pointers off. Rebound long. Rocco to the floor trying to get it. And he's tied up by Skyler Williams. Held ball will favor the Bearcats. 11-13 to play in the first half. It's Manzer, Fenton, Collins, Sedlock, and Rocco for the Bearcats right now. Manzer in, left wing Sedlock. Quick three up, no good. Rebound, Ann Wilson for the Bison. Four-court feed to Verico. Verico cross-courts it, open Williams. Left baseline, Tarmina. Back to Williams, out front side of the key left. Right to the point, follow an extended right, Verico. Dribbles right to the baseline, defended by Manzer. Wards are off, and then feeds back outside to Williams. Williams, right wing Wilson in front of the Bearcat bench. Left spin, side of the lane checked. Throws foul line, Tarmina, shot clock at four. Tarmina lost it, Sedlock with the steal, hands to Manzer. 21-15, Bearcats on a 9-0 run, look to extend it. Collins, left wing, deep three, no good. Rebound, loose far side, out of bounds in the corner to Bethany. Duffa McGrath in, Brittany Sedlock out for the Bearcats. And Ty Harris, a sophomore from Wintersville, Ohio, in for the Bison. Skyler Williams comes out. And Wilson, the senior will inbound. Bearcats stay in there, 2-2-1 press. St. Vincent with 
Four of their five starters still out there. Pass center circle to Verico. She puts it on the floor, almost lost it, and almost a back court call. She was almost in the front court when she threw it back out to Harris at the timeline. Harris feeding along the baseline, tipped away. Fenton with the steal was Mansur McGrath with the deflection. Collins with it now. Left wing stops. Feeds foul line Rocco. One dribble left back to L on the wing. Out top, Fenton open three. Good. <laughs> Timeout, Bethany, Fenton with nine. The Bearcats lead 24-15, 10-0. We were tired. They were actually down 15-12. Now lead at 24-15, 10-0 the first half. Dow Carnahan with you. Bethany women inbounding it. Coming up at halftime, we'll talk to Brittany Sedlock. Bearcats change. I don't know. It's still their full court pressure. Little zone action. Bethany goes to Hackathorn in the front court. She hands it back outside to Ty Harris. Bearcats fall back into a half-court man. Verico straight ahead and Wilson. Inside, Farmina snuck open, won't shoot it. Left side, Verico jumper up and go to three by Taylor Verico. Breaks the 12-0 run, 24-18 St. Vincent. Bearcat, Devin McGrath, left wing. Out front, Rocco. Side of the key right, Collins. Right wing, Fenton. Dribble drive under the bucket. Then kicks to McGrath coming in the other end. She'll lay it home. Nice unselfish play by Emily Fenton. McGrath's first points, 26-18 Bearcats. 9-15 in the first half. Wilson ahead to Harris. Double teamed at the hash. Back to Wilson. Left to the key. Picked up by Collins. Follow an extended left. Verico back to Wilson. Out near center circle. Comes right hands to Tarmina. Right wing Harris. Harris to Wilson. Open. Way out. Shoots the three. And a slingshot that's good. That was from 24. 26-21 Bearcats. McGrath left wing jump shot for St. Vincent, good from 16. Devin has four straight, 28-21. you got to love the pace of this one. It's been up and down. 8.40 to play, first half. Harris carries the ball. Yeah, she came to the key. Turnover will give the ball back to St. Vincent. That's been the big problem for the Bison so far is turnovers. Tarmina and Hackathorn out. Shepard in and Drajinski back in for the Bison. Manser comes out for St. Vincent. Jess Welsh back out there. Collins and Welsh, two freshmen in the backcourt for the Bearcats. Welsh takes a pass from Collins. Sideline right. Foul on extended. Straight ahead, McGrath. Devin looking low for Sedlock. Can't find her. Brittany comes out to screen. Sedlock, or McGrath stops, tries to force it to Sedlock. It was intercepted by Taylor Verico. And then she dribbles it off her knee, and Sedlock steals it back at the timeline. Brittany coming right. Spins up. Left hand blocked. No. Fouls called by Drajinski. That's a tough move to defend, and she is, she is probably... Done that, I don't know how many times in her career, but she sets up like she's going right and that she spins back and comes with her left hand. Rajinsky's first foul are the Bison's fifth, and Brittany Sedlock with 11 points already, three for three at the line. Back there for two more. First one is good. 29 21, St. Vincent leading. Nobody works harder than Brittany Sedlock. Second shot good. Nine-point lead for the Bearcats. 8-10 to play in the first half. Bison ball and Wilson right side. Jump shot good. No, it's not good from 14. Hit the rim and bounced off. McGrath with the rebound. Heaves it ahead. Sedlock has it right wing. Cross court now. Fenton side of the key left. Three is good. The two seniors. 33-21. Fenton and Sedlock having big halves. Bearcats by a dozen. Bison ball, front court, Verico, left wing. Out front, Drajinski, hands to Wilson. Wilson at the key, crossover, penetrates, stripped away by Sedlock. She comes up with a steal, and she turns and drives. Verico hustles back. Brittany to Welsh. Welsh run into, lost the ball, no foul. Sedlock has it, right side won't shoot it. Cross court high to McGrath, she'll save it on the far sideline. Get it out front to Collins, and the Bearcats get into their set with 15 on the shot clock. Welsh out front right, whistle away from the ball. Going to be on the Bison. Audra Drajinski, her second, team sixth. St. Vincent with its biggest lead since they were down 15 to 12. They've outscored the Bison 21 to 6. 7-18 to play in the half. St. Vincent inbounding with a fresh shot clock. Fenton in to McGrath. Foul an extended ju right jump shot. Go to three by Devin McGrath. She's got seven points. 
36-21. The Bearcats are red hot. Their shooting percentage has got to be above 50%. Ty Harris for Bethany to the left baseline. Checked by Collins. Dribbles to the wing. Hands outside to Shepard. Shepard goes left off a bruising screen. Pulls up on the baseline. Jump shot off. Rebound L. Collins for St. Vincent. 6.53 to play in the half. Fenton with it. Stops right side of the key. Another three. No good. Too strong. Gets a rebound. Hands to McGrath. Out front to Collins. Left wing at the hash to Welsh. Back out top to Collins. L. Right foul and extended Sedlock, guarded by Shepard. Straight ahead, Welsh. Welsh, right foul and extended Fenton. Open, stops, pops, no good. Knock to the floor, no foul. Rebound, Ty Harris for Bethany. 36-21, Bearcats. Harris dribbles right, feeds along the baseline, tipped away by a Bearcat foot. It'll be Bison ball with 6.20 to play in the half. Again, opponents shooting... 41% against Bethany. They're next to the last in the conference in field goal percentage defense. Allie Schmidt in for the first time for St. Vincent, the freshman guard. And Kelly Zogren, a fresh, or senior from Thomas Jefferson, in for the first time for the Bison. Ty Harris comes out. Ann Wilson ready to inbound it for Bethany. Does to Hackathorn. She's defended tightly, lost it, and L. Collins is there to come up with another St. Vincent steal. Bearcats have lived on turnovers here in the first half. 6-10 to play, and they've shot it exceptionally well, getting some good looks. Sedlock filed an extended right, guarded by Shepard. Straight ahead to Ali Schmidt. Schmidt back on the right to Welsh. Three-pointer up and off. Rebound controlled by Bison, Kelly Zogren. Zogren into the front court from right to left. Under six minutes to play in the half to Ann Wilson. Left foul and extended long three is no good. Devin McGrath trying to get the rebound. She's tied up by Renee Shepard of Bethany. It'll be Bison ball on the alternating possession. 5.46 to play in the half. And inbounding it'll be Ann Wilson for Bethany. Wilson looking right. Throws it out front at the hash mark to Zogren. Straight ahead Shepard. Three-pointer good. That's her third. She's got 11, Renee Shepard, 36-24. That stops a 10-0 uh, St. Vincent run. Burkheads have had two big runs in the first half. They lead by a dozen. Ali Schmidt in the key, Sedlock. Turns and faces. Left side of the key, McGrath right off a of Sedlock screen. Pulls up at the foul line, missed the shot. Rebound, Ann Wilson for Bethany. She's quickly back the other way. Pass, though, intercepted by McGrath. And here comes Devin up the right side into the front court. Pass, foul line, Collins takes it inside, throws it up. It spins in. Four points for Collins. 38-24, St. Vincent. Five minutes to play in the half. Wilson fouled outside by Welsh. Jessica's first is only the fourth team foul on St. Vincent. And Wilson out. Back into the game for the Bison is Skylar Williams at the points. Inbounding it will be Kelly Zogren. Zogren bounce pass in to Skylar Williams. Left side, Tarmina inside pass intercepted by Sedlock. It was right in her hands. It was like it was intended for her. The other end, Bearcats reload. McGrath open at the key from 19. It's no good. Rebound, Sedlock to the floor. She falls, gets rid of it. Collins, right foul, extended jumpers off. Rebound, McGrath, hand, Sedlock, layup, good. <laughs> Timeout, Bison, 40-24. St. Vincent leading. 4.37 to play in the half. We'll to 12. Lead it by 16. Bison front court out of the timeout. Tarmina feeding inside to Hackathorn. Knocked away by Sedlock, and she gets whacked in the nose by Hackathorn. Hackathorn can hurt you. She is physical. I saw her throw an elbow at Bethany that just about destroyed Devin McGrath's jaw. Hackathorn is called for the foul. She's just a very physical player. Sedlock okay, 424 to play in the half. Brittany already with 15 points. She gets it in to Jess Welsh. Welsh is run into in the backcourt by Skylar Williams. And the Bison have put the Bearcats at the line. Team foul number eight. Welsh, North Potomac, Maryland freshman. 69% at the line this year. She's Really come on to play uh, steady basketball the last half of the season. Erin L. Collins 
Two freshman guards have had good freshman years. Welsh makes the first. She's got three points. 41-24. I understand Jessica is also a standout lacrosse player. She's at the line for another. This one is short and missed. Rebound Kayla Tarmina for Bethany. Leading score for the Bison gets rid of it to Skylar Williams. Williams to Shepard. Follow and extended left back out to Williams between the dots. Hackathorn right foul line turns and faces. Left foul and extended to Williams. Guarded by Welsh. Williams top of the key to Zogren off her knee. Loose ball. We got a foul on St. Vincent. Ali Schmidt. Trying to get to the loose basketball, knocked the bison into the floor. Her first foul, St. Vincent's fifth. Four minutes exactly to play in the half. Again, we'll talk to senior Brittany Sedlock at halftime. Men to follow at six. Williams to Kelly Zogren. Zogren feeds Hackathorn. High post turns into the lane. No shot. She throws it back to Zogren. It almost went back court. She saves it to Tarmina. Shot clock at 15. Zogren with it. Straight ahead to Williams. Williams foul on extended left. Shepard puts it on the floor to the lane, leaves it for Zogren and throws it behind her. Out of bounds on the baseline. Zogren was wide open, but the pass was wide. And the ball goes to the Bearcats with 3.36 to play in the first half, leading 41-24. Having one of their better halves of the season. Averaging 70.5 points per game. Second best in the conference. McGrath mid lane, right side to Schmidt. Hands back to Devin. Open at the arc. Foul on extended right. Good. A two. Inside the three-point line, but Devin now with nine, and the Bearcats lead it by 19. 43-24, Shepard, foul line stops, right wing to Williams. Guarded by Welsh, inside pass, Manzer steals it. Man, Bethany's got to have 15 turnovers. Manzer ahead to McGrath. McGrath stops, cross courts it out front right, Schmidt at the key to Manzer. She'll drive inside to the hole, running right-hander, too strong off the window. Hustles to get a rebound, back on the wing to Welsh, out front McGrath, into the lane, stops, tries to feed Manzer coming in left side, needed a bounce pass, and didn't get it. Out of bounds it goes. Fenton back in, Schmidt out. For the Bison, Hackathorn and Tarmina are out. Into the game is uh, Uniontown sophomore Emily Madison at 6-2 for Bethany. And Verico, Taylor Verico back in. Verico right side, comes left to the key, stops, shoots from 18. It's no good. Rebound McGrath, one of the best defensive rebounders in the conference. Third, Fenton lobs it ahead. Sedlock trying to catch it and shoot it in one motion. Didn't make it. Rebound Bethany. 2.25 to play in the half. You don't see that in girls' women's basketball too often. The lob. Verico left side. Three is missed. Long rebound. McGrath. And here come the breaking Bearcats. Devin leads it. Foul line stops. Right side. Fenton heads to her left. Into the lane. Feeds on the wing. Welsh open from 17. No good. Rebound. Sedlock. Turns. Double team to uh, McGrath. Right wing. Jump shot. No good. Rebound. Jess Welsh. One dribble. Hands to Sedlock. Layup. Good. Bearcats just outworking the Bison in a big way. 45-24, a lot of unselfish basketball being played by St. Vincent. And that's normally the case. Welsh with a steal. McGrath throws it long. Sedlock catches it. She will miss the shot and foul from behind by Shepard. Hey, if you don't possess the ball, you can't score and you can't win. And Bethany right now is not possessing the ball. They are plagued by turnovers. 143 to play in the half. It's turned into a track meet for St. Vincent. 143 to play before the breaks. Sedlock already was 17. Make it 18. 46-24 Bearcats. Manzer out. McGrath out. Rocco in and Alexa Lee, a freshman in. Also... Kendra Birchfield, the sophomore, junior, excuse me, from Batavia, Ohio, ready to check in for St. Vincent. Brittany Sedlock is ready, and the foul shot is missed. She is human. 46-24 Bearcats. Shepard off on the right side, Verico to the lane. Backs in, no shot, lofts it out front to Shepard. She's hit 3-3. Shepard for Wilson. Wilson right across the key. Gets a screen. Penetrates to the baseline. Lost the handle. Out of bounds. Fenton touched it, but Wilson touched it after that. Birch filled in and Sedlock out for St. Vincent.
Fenton and Sedlock both in double figures already. McGrath with nine for the Bearcats. That's where the majority of the scoring has come. Alexa Lee on the left side. Minute 13 to play in the first half. Alexa leaves it out front for Ariel Rocco. Rocco to the key. Feeds it on the right baseline to Fenton near the corner. Little shake and bake. Emily tries to drive. She's held and a foul is called. Foul will go on Ann Wilson. Her first. Team's 10th. They're going to give Fenton two fouls. Well, it's, I understand it's double bonus. Two foul shots for Emily. She has got uh, 12 points here in the first half. 13 as she makes it on the foul shot. Three for three. Upping her foul shooting percentage. Which was at 73% coming in. 47-24 Bearcats. 48-24 as Fenton makes both. And Vincent has doubled up the Bison. It was a back and forth game for the first eight or nine minutes. And since then it's been all St. Vincent. 48-24. Since Bethany led 15-12 to they've only scored nine points. St. Vincent scored 36. A foul on the Bearcats with 54.7 seconds to play in the half. That foul on Alexa Lee, her first, team sixth. No one and one yet. Zogren inbounding it for the Bison. Does to Shepard at the key. Comes right to the foul line. Feeds down low. Verico look away under the bucket to Madison, but she drops it off her knee out of bounds. She who hesitates loses. She wasn't expecting the pass. 47 seconds to play in the half. Bearcats by 24. Jess Welsh comes right. Out front, Alexa Lee. Or excuse me, Kelly Sedlock. Kelly Sedlock to Ariel Rocco. Now to Alexa Lee. Lee to Birchfield. Under the bucket to Rocco. Layup good. The Bearcats have put 50 on the board in the first half. 50 to 24, SVC. Bison, Renee Shepard, stop and go inside, shot off the window and in with the right hand. Shepard has been the offense for the Bison. 50 26, St. Vincent. Seven seconds, first half. Welsh with it, stop of the key. Rocco is going to shoot the three. Why not? It's good. You know, it's your night. Ariel Rocco, her first three-point field goal of the season, and St. Vincent takes a 53-26 lead into the locker room. We'll be right back.